Milky fluid drizzled from the crippled war machine's chest unit, bubbling and popping in the electrical fires swathing its legs. Lubricant, thought Bravestorm. He zoomed in. The fluid was shot through with blood. Something was moving inside the torso unit. Something broken and sick. The commander decided to take a look inside. The creature that stared back made his breath catch. A twisted and grotesque figure was trapped inside, all barrel chest and atrophied stumps. It stared at him from sunken sockets, its undisguised hatred almost palpable. Wires and tubes penetrated its horrifically abused body in a hundred places. It wheezed, red fluid spilling from a broken jaw that worked and gummed as if it would click back into place through willpower alone. The commander recoiled as the thing's stink was filtered through his olfactory relay and the battlesuit jerked upright in response. His autotrans spooled, rendering the creature's slurred words into the Tau lexicon. Die in pain, foreign world thing. The commander next uses a geological tool in his foot to scan the space marine. The necrotic thing was human, or a close derivative. Extensive tissue damage, rejuvenation scars, and... The commander looked again in horror. Somehow, this vile thing was over 6,000 years old. A macabre realization crept through Bravestorm's mind. This abomination had been trapped in its armored war coffin long before the Tau's ancestors had first emerged from their caves. What manner of enemy were they fighting on Daylith? Kill me, vexing fool. Kill me, or I shall hunt you until death, spooled the Autotrans. Bravestorm triggered his plasma rifle, and the creature met its final oblivion.